Hi, I'm Heather at The Craft Shack, where we believe all were created by the creator to be creative. Join me now for another art adventure. Hello there. Welcome to this art adventure. I am painting on a tote bag today. This was actually a live stream that I did over on Twitch where I am live every day. Well, Tuesday through Friday, anyway, at 12.30 Eastern Time. And during this time, I wanted to talk about these canvas tote bags that I received from Kells Kids. And these are so much fun to put together for any occasion, and they have so many uses. But I was really focusing on reusable shopping bags. And I am showing you here how I folded it so that, that way, and then ironed it so it was really easy to uh, paint on. But then um, I wanted the design to go off the side at the side seam and go to the front and to the back. And so that's why I folded it this way. And then I inserted this cardboard piece that I just basically fit to match the shape of the bag. Using Deco Art Americana paints and the um, fabric medium that they also sell at Deco Art. I just made a little mixture puddle of the paint and then start with my design. And I really wanted to do olive branches. I think olive branches are kind of a pretty design and they can be real elegant looking. And they're kind of popular in the kitchen. And so with a small thin brush, liner brush, I'm just applying the paint to the canvas. Now you'll notice, now this is exactly like it would be if I was painting a canvas, um, a stretched canvas over, you know, a bar, like a wood frame or something like that. But the difference is, is that with something like that, you normally prep the, cam the canvas itself, the surface, with something called gesso. And I did not do that at this stage of the game. This is early on painting the tote bags, and I had not, I had um, experimented, I guess, <laughs> with using white gesso, and that was all that I had. So um, I didn't, I want that natural canvas color, which is one of the things that I love about these bags, is that they're this natural canvas, so they kind of have like little specks in it and everything. And I don't want to cover that up with white gesso. But um, after painting this bag, I realized I could use clear gesso. And in all my future bag paintings, I try to use clear gesso to um, prep the surface. But you'll notice how it takes me quite a while and quite a bit of paint to, um, to go ahead and get that image on there. You'll see I've just many, many brush strokes to get that paint onto the canvas. And that's because it's an unprepped surface. So tip for you, if you're going to be doing a canvas bag painting of your own, you'll want to start with a clear gesso if you want to keep that canvas color um, as a part of your design. Or if you are OK with it, you could do a white canvas or white gesso or a black gesso to prep the surface. So a couple of tips for painting these canvas tote bags are to use um, a fabric medium of some kind mixed in with your paints because that will allow the paint to adhere to the bag, stay flexible, and go through washings. That's the purpose of it. Is it necessary? No, because you could just paint on the tote bag with regular paint. And if you've ever had uh, acrylic paint on your clothing and tried to get it off, you'll know firsthand it's almost impossible. But if you really want the image to stay preserved and to be able to go through the washer dryer portion of life, which with these um, uh, reusable shopping bags, that is definitely what I wanted to do. So um, it's important that you use a fabric medium so that it will remain flexible the paint will remain flexible and that it will stay in the fibers of that canvas tote as long as possible through many washings. Now I 
kind of speed up this video in the parts where uh, it was pretty much the same repetitive thing over and over again. I mean, I, I would hate to make you sit there and watch every bit of it, but if you do like watching a process from beginning to end, I suggest taking a look at my live streams. I have um, uploaded a few of those live streams to my YouTube channel from Twitch, and I'm putting together more of these shorter videos for those who don't like to sit through an hour long or more um, viewing session, which I fully understand that. That makes total sense. But if you do like to see the beginning to the end and then have that chit chat camaraderie with an audience, um, to be able to sit down with, with myself and my co-host Jules and whoever else is joining us and be able to have the laughter and all that stuff. If you're into any of that, I suggest, suggest checking out our live streams over on Twitch. They are a lot of fun and, um, and you never know. We get into all kinds of stuff over there. So with a round... A, it, not a round brush, it's called a filbert. It's got a rounded sort of tapered edge to the brush tip. I am just basically making C strokes, a, a, a crescent to the left and a crescent to the right, and that's creating this olive shape. And I'm kind of mixing different grays and greens to give the leaves, the olives, and... Um, and the stems, just varying those different greens, grays. There might even be a little bit of black in this too, but I'm not sure. I don't remember if I used black or not, but the idea is to have those olives sort of hanging down. You know, you got to give, you're kind of giving like a visual weightedness to that branch. And then remember that that one on the left is actually the front or back of the bag, and it's actually pointed down, even though it right now it looks like it's pointed up in the air a little bit when you put the bag the right way with the seams to the sides, then that that branch is sort of pointed down so and then alternating between the olives and the leaf painting, so you've got some leaves are behind, some olives are in front that kind of thing. Now you got a leaf in front of an olive. Just adds to it. Kind of a real simple painting, but um, hopefully it's something that inspires you to do. Now I try really, really hard when I am painting for the camera to keep everything in the right, you know, same frame and not twist it around and everything, but sometimes it's just hard to get those angles or those twisty flowy shapes, so you do have to twist it every now and then. I hope that's forgivable. <laughs> now, I want to tell you about Kells Kids Canvas Tote Bags. This is actually listed over on my Amazon store. Um, they are a great company, makes all of their bags um, very awesome. They're heavyweight. They've got great stitching. Um, I just couldn't say enough about these bags. I absolutely love them. Oh yes, I did bring in black, especially for the shadowing. But I absolutely love them. They have a great... Um, these canvas tote bags, they have like a, a great quality to the canvas, a great weight to the canvas, so you feel like you could load them up with groceries or, you know, whatever you need to take to the next place and not worry about the handles coming apart or anything. And they're a great size. They've got quite a bit of space in them as well, so they really are great bags. And because we use that um, fabric medium, we're able to put these into the washer. So this is, and that's just my preference for when I sell a tote bag, I want the user to not have to worry about if they get it a little bit grubby or whatever. Now, 
I don't show this part in the video, but I do paint the other side pretty much identical to this. And so then when the bag is opened, you'll have two branches sort of coming out from the sides and going into the middle. One will go down and the other one will go up. So it's quite a neat design because right now on this side, I've got them both going down. And I think if I remember right, <laughs> I think that's what I did. So um, check out, stick around to the end of the video to see those uh, images and everything. And hopefully if you enjoyed this, you'll give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And there you go. Have a very crafty day. Bye now.